Yeah, I put this rope on the cart so I'm not in the picture when I pull it. I have my official off grid garage t shirt on. Guys, we are getting serious. Welcome to another episode here from the off grid garage in Sunny Hot Australia. We have. Um, 4.4 amps outside. Guys, welcome to the official start of battery 3.0. And today is the first video of a whole lot of series, a whole lot of videos coming. Season three of us building a battery. Battery number one was our community built battery here. This was my first exposure to lithium iron phosphate. And we have put the battery here in this plastic tube, in this plastic container hooked everything up to our three kilowatt inverter and it was working amazingly. And we have done a lot of testing, a lot of learning. That was the initial kickoff of the channel here. Amazing. And then afterwards we got to a bit of a bigger project here. This is the completely custom built battery bank, three battery banks in parallel. We built everything from scratch. This is just a metal storage shelf which was completely transformed into a battery container. That was the pure do-it-yourself job here. Everything has been built by hand. We put these 1500 amp bus bars in there. We bended the acrylic on top of the batteries here to cover them up. We installed all the BMSs in this battery here and nicely covered everything with sturdy PVC. We connected all the big cables here in our DC distribution compartment installed a DC to DC converter and the Raspberry Pi and connected this 44 kilowatt hour battery here to our power wall with the two inverters connected in series and our AC distribution area over here. Well, and in today's video, as I said, we are starting battery 3.0. You have seen it in the intro already. I am going with the Seplos Mason system. On the card here, we have two different kits. So we will build two different Seplos Mason batteries with these two kits. All the cells of our battery 1.0 will go into the Seplos Mason 280 ampere hour kit. This is in the bottom package here. We will have a look at this later because this one will be like a 15 kilowatt hour battery. But I also got the smaller version, 6.9 kilowatt hours. And this is probably what is interesting for you guys as well, because this is a full kit coming with the battery cells. There are two more boxes here included in this kit when you buy it. And this contains 16 135 ampere hour batteries. So all in total, close to seven kilowatt hours in this box here. Okay, let's uh, have a closer look. Is it is it C plus or C plus? Shall we call it the Peter battery? <laughs> I will call it C plus for now. Yeah, here you can see it again. So this is the C plus Mason 6.9. Comes with the batteries included, and this is the Mason 280 do-it-yourself kit. This one. It's only the case, all the accessories, BMS. A lot of people always wanted me to buy the Ziplos BMS. Well, now I have two of them. So these systems come with the Ziplos BMS as well. So I think we've got the 150 amp BMS in here and this could be a 100 amp BMS. I'm not sure yet. Oh. And as a third option, you can also buy these Seplos Mason batteries as ready-built systems. And this is what quite a few people said on my channel. Andy, you need to get into this servo rack battery stuff. And, you know, guys, this is a do-it-yourself channel, right? Battery 2.0, 100% do-it-yourself. Everything from scratch. So I don't quite like these ideas of having these plug-and-play batteries. There's nothing really to show, to learn, to do with it, apart from connecting the positive, negative and the communication ports. And then you turn it on and this is then the end of your video, basically. If you can take the lid off and do a capacity test eventually, but where's the fun, right? Where's the fun? This year is a do-it-yourself channel and we will keep doing yourself stuff. Hence, I bought these two kits. Kits in terms of parts which need to be assembled, not, not kits, not the children kits. It's the same word, right? Almost. Sounds very... And I guess with the Seplos Mason systems now, we are meeting somewhere in between a ready-built server plug-and-play battery and the 100% do-it-yourself job we have done with battery 2.0.
Yeah, and as you have seen, our battery 3.0 there is still balancing, charging, whatever. So this will take another couple of days until this one is ready to go anyway. I would like to start with the uh, Sepplers Mason 6.9 because it comes with some um, ready available battery cells there. And we can just build a smaller unit and then we will dive deep into the 280 ampere hour kit. The, the 280 ampere hour kit here, the do-it-yourself kit, can take the EVE LF 280 NK and also the 304 ampere hour battery cells. And this Mason series here is for 48 volt, but they have also other systems for 12 volt and also 24 volt. They've, they've got different names, which I cannot remember. I'll link this all down in the description and on my website as well. The pictures on the website look pretty well damn good. And I was very impressed with the quality, the functionality and the professional design of these kits. So I said, yep, yeah, I'll order two of them just to show you and to have a look at this system because this will be a do-it-yourself battery as well but not as extreme as this one. This will be more a hands-on experience for everyone who, well, who doesn't want to spend months in building such a battery shelf. This one should not take too long. Okay, guys, without further to do, let's dig in the first box. Okay, let's have a quick first impression here of the whole system. So this is how the front looks like. Got our negative here, positive over there. Communication ports, CAN, uh, RS-485 and another RS-485, the reset or power button and the dip switches to control the communication if you have more than one device. Some LEDs for the capacity alarm and, and the power LED over here. We've got an earth or ground area on this side here. This is where the display goes and the control buttons for it. And the first thing I noticed actually is that the print is not very nice here. See the the paint is like it's like looks like it's painted by hand a bit or something. So this is not the best quality. But this one looks good. Okay, very quick dimensions. Length of the whole box is 530 millimeters. Width of the box is 420 millimeters and the height is 200 millimeters. Some holes for handles, nothing on the back. Okay, so here you can see all the ingredients coming with the Sepplers Mason 6.9 kit. So it obviously contains the enclosure as well as the Sepplers BMS, the display, all the PCB boards to connect to your cells, insulation material and more insulation material going between the cells to keep them compressed, handles and mounting accessories, epoxy sheets for insulation purposes and bus bars between your cells and to connect to your BMS. So let's have a very quick look at the installation guide here. Step one is there, step 17 is over here. So it's a one page manual to get this all together and organized and installed step by step. And on the back is also the layout for your battery cells in which order you have to put them into the case to make it all work. Wow, I like this very much. Yeah, and finally, let's have a first quick look at the Seplos BMS here as well. So that's how it looks like. It's an open PCB, open PCB here. And we can see the shunt measuring our current. You can see the MOSFET transistors. 
There's also an aluminium cooler underneath for the other side of the MOSFETs. We've got our B- bus bar connection and a P plus bus bar connection here. Balance cable leads connect from here with these cables to our PCB sitting above the cells. Fuse holder over here. It's a very industrial looking PCB and BMS. And this is the 48100, so I guess it's 100 amp BMS in here. I actually didn't pay attention to that when I ordered, but 100 amps is plenty of power. That is, that is 5 kilowatt for our 48 volt system. Plenty! And interestingly, these BMSs are not coming with any Bluetooth functionality or app or something. You need to program them through a software on your computer. Um, this all connects to the RS-485 port, I think, with an adapter to USB. And then you can download the software for free on the Zeppler's website and program the BMS from there. So the whole monitoring software runs on a computer only. I'm not 100% sure how I will do that yet. Let's have a, have a quick... So here we have a quick look at the 135 amp hour. Oh, they are so light. Amazing! At the 135 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are coming with the Zeppler's Mason 6.9 kit. So they have welded bus bars here as well. Nice. The bottom is not isolated here. This is your positive terminal. So I'm going to use our lithium iron phosphate QR battery scanner and decoder. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting the right angle, right? The right lighting. Let me try the normal QR code scanner. No, it doesn't. It will not scan this code. Uh-oh, that is a bad start. Okay, so I have now used the Google Power website again with the QR code decoder and it sees and it says code seems right, code length is right, so the code is actually legit here on the battery. And um, it is a high G battery, high G, never heard of them before. Battery cell, lithium iron phosphate, 135 ampere hours, 3.2 volts. Production date, November 19. We now have July 22. So this is two and a half years old. Two and a half years old batteries. Oh, wow. Well, as we know from our previous tests and videos, calendar age of battery cells is actually contributing to degradation. Well, eventually it will kill your battery, right? It's not the cycles usually, but it's the calendar age. And these battery cells are already two and a half years old. That's a bit disappointing. I shall probably try another one, hey? Let's try one from the other box. Okay, so one batch seems to be from the 10th of November 2019 and the other one is from the 14th of November, so four days apart. Hey, I don't know, they are two and a half years old. Well, I will not test these batteries beforehand, before we put them in the case and everything together, because this is the experience users will have if they buy such a kit, right? They buy the enclosure, including two boxes of 135 ampere hour phosphate batteries here. So we put this all together now. And then we do a full capacity test, of course, of this battery and see how we go then. We want to determine if there is already some degradation in these batteries because they are already two and a half years old. So this is roughly how it will work. We've got these epoxy sheets here as insulation material. I guess these longer ones will go on the bottom to isolate the battery cells from the bottom. And then we've got these um, squishy, rubbery, foamy sticky tape here which goes between the cells and this front panel here actually this is for compressing the cells together so i'm assuming we will get a bit of a pressure once we have installed all these battery cells in here which keeps them nice in place and then once the batteries are installed you put these pcbs on top of it and there's the same description printed on the pcb as here on the drawing so you actually cannot do it wrong and it gives you the location of the positive and negatives here of the batteries. The real benefit here of such a kit is you have actually control how it's been built together. And if you want to, you can test all the battery cells beforehand, which you usually cannot do with a ready-built server pack. You actually have to rely on what they put in the box.
Another big advantage here, you don't need to wait for weeks until your next parts show up. Everything is here to build this battery right now, right? There, there's nothing missing. You can start and finish this one easily in one day and have your battery finished and connected in the afternoon. Well, this one, well, it took us almost six months to build, right? Lots of design changes, lots of waiting for material coming in, thinking, changing, assembling, filing, drilling, sawing. Nothing like this here. But still, you've got the joy of do it yourself. You know what part goes where, how this all works together. As I said before, it is in between a plug and play ready server rack battery and the hardcore do it yourself battery shelf. So, this whole Sepplers Mason 6.9 kit, including the battery cells, is $1,690 US and plus shipping, depending on where you are on this beautiful planet. So this is still quite a lot cheaper than one of these plug and play ready built batteries out there from any of these brands. And these ones are probably also cheaper than building your own battery shelf from scratch. Because just look how compact this all is, right? And then afterwards you can stack them on top of each other and build up your capacity as per your needs. And they also come with a wheelbase. Depending on the height of this tower, I wouldn't wheel it around too much, but you certainly can move it a little bit away from the wall to clean up behind there. So it is kind of a mobile battery with this wheelbase. Okay guys, I would say so far this first video here, the first impression of the Steplos Mason 6.9, including the batteries. I'm keen to get started to build up this battery here and then test it, but this will come in the next video, guys. Well, um, I must say first impression so far, it is something different, but everything seems to be very straightforward to put together. So it seems to be very, very easy to build your battery with the Zeplos Mason system. It's not bad. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your great support here on the channel. You are amazing people out there. Until the next video, when we build this battery here, stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Guys, here's my delivery. Hi, how are you, sir? Hey, how are you? It's always friendly. Yeah, yeah, it's very friendly. Yeah, yes. scary. Well, I'm in trouble for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, very that's all right. Crash to me. <laughs> yeah, you've got my heavy parcels here, huh? Yes, about four parcels. Yeah, right. So I was waiting for you the whole day. I wasn't sure when you are coming, actually. Uh, yeah. All good. All out. Excellent. You push it up there? Okay. Come here. Uh, we stopped? Oh, just under the, under the roof here, that's fine. Okay. Just somewhere over there, that's fine. That's totally fine. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for the... No worries. <laughs> yeah, okay. No worries. Thank you very much. Bye. See ya. Yeah, somehow this gives it already away, right? <laughs>